Hello, welcome to Chile TV channel and I'm Chi. Are you getting tired when you look at your kitchen cabinet every day? Because it looks ugly and looks old. You want to replace it? It will cost you a lot of money, a few thousand dollars. But you don't have to. This video will show you how to refinish the wooden kitchen cabinet without painting, without scraping. So just follow me. I'm going to show you this cabinet behind me here. So this is the kitchen cabinet here. I have uh, the bottom, the counter, and uh, this cabinet here on the top. This is original. It looks like, looks still shiny and look new. But the bottom here, a lot of damage. For many years, it damaged right here. It looks so ugly. You see? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this new, refinish the cabinet without scraping and uh, sanding. So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you uh, how to do this job. It costs you maybe only $10. And uh, first step, uh, you have to clean all the stain from the food. When you, when you cook and you uh, prepare the food, all the food and stain stay here. Therefore, you have to use, uh, let me show you. First of all, you have to clean, clean all the stain from the food first. Clean all of them. And uh, this one I already cleaned before. Maybe this one here. With the uh, wet grass. You clean it up. Okay, that's the first step you have to do. Clean here. So I only do outside but not inside because inside still look new. Look new. Only do outside the cabinet. And lucky we don't have any hardware here. The knob. So we only apply a thin layer of polyurethane coat outside the cabinet. And we're done. You don't have to replace all the hardware, okay? She look new. So next step, I'm going to show you how to uh, paint over with, with a clear coat. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you uh, the chemical to uh, paint over the old cabinet by using this. This one they call polyurethane. I bought from Home Depot a year ago. And this one uh, fast dry and sun here. A clear sun. Okay, this one cost you only ten dollars or more, so ten or eleven dollars. So I use the old one from a year ago, still good. And I never use a brush. This is a brush you have to use for the job. But uh, the disadvantage for the for the brush is it gives you a lot of trace, a lot of light, or sometimes extra um, uh, polyurethane. It, it going to drip down on the bottom. It may look like. Uh, messy so I would like to do this it make by uh, material like from anything from your clothing your t-shirt you throw away like uh, you have to use material like cotton material I cut out from my uh, t-shirt I'm going to cut from my uh, t-shirt I cut it out and uh, I roll it up like this inside I put some cotton in here so I dim this one into the polyurethane and then I just uh, massage on the surface. So you never have extra coat on the surface and never drip down on the bottom. It clean. So let me show you how to do it. This one is very easy. You have to use a uh, cotton, okay? Cotton material. So that uh, a little thin from the material never come out and stay on the wood. It does not look good. So, uh, you can do this by yourself. Just try to show you how to make this. Here we go. You get a piece of material, 
from your golden you round it up make it smaller and then you put in here and then with a round corner here and tie up with a rubber band here we go okay you can use the brush also but I don't like to use this brush because I have experience in the past when I use this brush I brush here it's fast but give me a lot of extra uh, clear coat of uh, material and it's driven down here to the bottom and some area very thick and the final look it looks a little bit messy so I don't like it so that's why I try to use this just gentle you rub on the surface here and quick also fast okay let me open up the can I will show you okay before you do this job you have to wear the eyeglass set the eyeglass and wear clothes and this can you have to stir up a little bit you have to mix it up because on the bottom a little bit thicker than on top here we go I put it to the tray and easy to uh, take a So uh, now you can apply here very fast, okay? Very fast. You can open up and do inside too. The one uh, it dry very fast, so you have to do very fast, okay? Very fast. So many, many times I use the brush, they give me a lot of uh, extra glue on the top, especially on the bottom here. Extra glue. That's why I don't like it. I'm, I'm using this. It's better. Here we go. You can do this cabinet within 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, you will finish. And after this, I'm going to show you how it looks.
Okay, when you uh, when you massage on the surface, right? Don't go back again because it dry up fast. You have to do second time. Only the second time if you want to, but uh, don't go back many times because when it dry up, you go the second, uh, third time, fourth time. It uh, it gives the surface like wrinkle because the glue start to dry up, so it's not look good. Mom and Dad doesn't like that how the way uh, cabinet uh, look like because too old and they want to replace. They want to get everything brand new, but uh, <laughs> cost you money. For me, I like to do this way. This one they call renew. It's not refurbished. It's a renew uh, wooden cabinet. For the kitchen. Alright, now we try to go to this. This is the most uh, damaged, the most damaged this cabinet here. Here we go. Wow, I cannot open that one. What about the sink? To refurbish this kitchen cabinet, it will cost you a lot of money. Or you want to renew, also cost you money. I don't like to paint cabinet. Because when you paint the cabinet, it, the paint will come off easy and uh, look more ugly. So I like to do this way. I keep the natural look, you know. Okay, now outside. Almost there. This one I make a little bit thicker because uh, it damaged so much. Remember, don't use the pen spurs. I don't like pen spurs. <laughs> I like this way. Wow. Okay. Now I can go to this. It's real fast. That's why a lot of my mom and dad say, okay, I want to uh, get a new cabinet, but where the money? You can renew too, right? But money, a few thousand dollars. So when you do this way, cost you ten dollars. <laughs> you can do by yourself. Here we go. Everybody can do this job. Okay, here we go. I'm more than halfway. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to show you uh, uh, in the bathroom cabinet. I have uh, one of the cabinet here. Need to be painted. It's right here.
Most of the people don't, don't like the old stuff. So you can do this way, you save, uh, spend money for extra, extra money for the house. So when you do this, it look new again. See? Nothing wrong. Inside still good, so I'm not going to paint inside. Only paint outside here. And the knob is also wood. Right here. The knob still wood. Also wood, so I can tip over around here. So it's good. Nothing wrong. Okay. Let's see what the next one Because um, the old coat, right, is not uh, peeled off, so I just go over. I'm not going to uh, sand it because it's not peeled off. Go. See, real fast. If you use the, the brush, take a little bit longer, and uh, the brush gives you a little trace of A little line, a long line, go back and forth, and it drip it down, keep dripping down. It looks so messy. Right? This is what I have left over. I'm going to throw away. I'm not going to use again. See? Okay. I look new. This is what it looks like after I uh, paint the clear coat of uh, poly written on the wooden cabinet. It looks new. And uh, it will re, uh, refresh the surface. Right now it's still wet, so you have to wait for at least four hours to dry up. You don't have to uh, spend a lot of money to replace it or to uh, resurface. So this is one cost you just cost you ten dollars. It look new. You don't have to scrape, sand. Just apply the one coat of uh, clear poly written. Okay, I would like to stop my video here. If you like the video, please thumb up and subscribe my channel so that I will be happy make more video put on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Kill TV. Bye bye.